no untracked aircraft get near the Pentagon and in and near the White House. It just doesn't happen. In Washington, D.C., we have one of the most restricted airspaces in the world. It's called P-56. It has a separate radar tracking system and a separate military response system. P-56 is that uh, restricted airspace that is around the Pentagon and the White House, and it, it is a highly, highly, highly sensitive area. There are supposed to be no unknown aircraft that can go through there. That has an air defense identification zone in a 50-mile radius around D.C., and then it has a protected zone 17 miles around the Washington Monument and an inner protected zone three miles around the Capitol. That space is essentially unbreachable. It has to be because of the importance of the buildings there. It's like, it's like an aviation no man's land. Nobody goes in there. Nobody. They have F-16 and F-18 jets at Andrews Air Force Base about 10 miles south of D.C. They also have the 113th National Guard Air Wing at Anacostia Naval Air Station uh, that can send scrambler jets up in a very short period of time. Both are in place that day. Neither one responds at all until after the Pentagon is hit. In addition to that, the Pentagon has its own defenses. If a plane, any kind of a plane, was coming in towards the Pentagon, why didn't the uh, anti-aircraft missile batteries that are there, why didn't they fire to protect the building? This is, after all, the most heavily protected building on the planet. That craft had to have been a military craft because only the military craft put out a signal. It's called an Identify Friend or Foe IFF device. And only the military craft would be allowed to approach the building. The two radar systems that the military radars, defensive radar systems read are a civilian transponder and a military transponder. Military transponder is called IFF. Civilian aircraft do not have an IFF transponder. They are not given that take capability, okay? So if there was a 757, American 757, that went into the Pentagon, for example, um, and it shut off its transponder, it didn't have a military IFF transponder on it. So it was a primary target. It's a primary target going into that airspace, <laughs> Should have been shot down. What I'm describing to you is a breakdown in standard operating procedure by FAA, NORAD, P-56, and the Pentagon all on the same day in the middle of, after 9.05, what was known nationally to be a terrorist attack. And it makes no sense. Nobody goes in there. This is, after all, the most heavily protected building on the planet. It just doesn't make any sense at all.